Welcome to one of the many upcoming advanced topics for Body Slide and Outfit Studio. In today's topic, we will be focusing on something called manual slider editing. Part 1. What is manual slider editing? Manual slider editing is a technique in which individual sliders for an outfit are manually edited to change its behavior. This is applicable to any base body that supports any form of sliders. Why does manual slider editing matter? Manual slider editing is important because it is able to make corrections to the imperfections that the reference bodies have during an outfit conversion. A reference body has limitations because its shape cannot realistically account for the variety of diverse outfits that exist. Thankfully, we have the uniboob and uni curtain references that help to improve the sliders, but it is still not perfect. Part 2 Describing the Problem Okay, so why does it actually matter? Let me show you three scenarios. The first scenario will show you what this bikini will look like if we use sliders from the normal reference body. See how the center string bends inward? That is not normal for real life. The second scenario will show you what this bikini will look like if we used the uniboob reference. Looks much better, right? But it's not perfect for all sliders like the gravity slider. The third scenario will show you what this bikini will look like if we manually edited the slider. Looks way better, right? The center string is no longer neg negatively affected by the sliders and everyone with any preset will be able to enjoy this high quality conversion. Part 3, before we begin the lesson. Before we begin how to do manual slider editing, I will leave two disclaimers. One, in your conversion process, always make sure to use a unit reference slider before attempting manual slider editing. It will make your work much easier in many cases. Two, this video is meant to show the process of how to enable and disable slider edit mode as well as show you some techniques for fixing a few deformities in outfits. I cannot show you all scenarios and how to fix them. If you are watching this video, that means that you have an advanced understanding of Outfit Studio and are smart enough to apply these theories and techniques to other situations. Many slider editing can fix virtually any outfit deformities and will require a combination of resetting sliders using the manipulation tool, inflating, deflating, and moving vertices. The tools are there and I'm providing the basic understanding of this concept for you to realize. Well, part 4, let's begin. To begin, I have my outfit loaded. This here is a top from the Tawoba mod. As you can see from me moving the sliders, the center string sharply concaves inward as these breasts are pushed out. To start the process, make sure all sliders are set to zero and that nothing is messed. Next, identify and select the objects that are negatively affected by this slider. In many situations, we may not want the entire object to undergo our edits. In these situations, we mask the specific part that is being deformed. So for this outfit, I will use the mask brush to mask only what's being affected and then invert the mask. Now the actual slider editing can begin. A good mod author would check every slider one by one to see which ones are causing the deformity. If you have identified the slider causing the deformity, enable editing mode for the slider by clicking on the pencil icon. Once enabled, go to slider, clear slider data. You will notice that that part be reset to the original position and it will most likely stretch really badly. This is okay. I will then use the move tool to move the area back to where I need it to be while still maintaining a shape. 
If needed, you can change the scale of the area using the cubes of each axis of this tool. When you are finished, exit slider mode and test the slider by, move, by moving the slider up and down to see if it looks better now. If it does look better, then congrats! This is the basic premise of the tutorial. As I said before, go down every slider and fix any deformities. I will go ahead and do that here at a slightly faster pace. In the next slider, we enable slider edit mode. Go to slider, clear slider data, use the move tool to move it back into position, then disable slider edit mode. On to the next slider. Enable slider edit mode, clear slider data, move and adjust. Next slider, enable slider mode, clear slider data, move and adjust. Rinse and repeat. Part 5, an object that is in an awkward spot. For this next example, I will use one of my most recent releases, Dragon Gladiator. The top part of this outfit has a giant metal lion as one of the pauldron accessories. To get to this point, I used the uniboob slider on all of the objects. As you are about to see, the brass sliders are affecting this metal lion, which should be far away on the shoulder. This is not good. What I will do to remedy this is by selecting the object only pertaining to the metal lion. I will then go to every breast and chest slider and clear the slider data. There's no need to use the move tool at all. It can be this easy. Don't forget to save your work often as it is extremely frustrating to make all these edits only for something to accidentally crash. Part 6. Let's try a weird object. For this scenario, we will fix something that is not very typical. Let's take a look at this cloak here. Since the cloak is just a cloak and is far from body, I already know in my brain that sliders should not affect this cloak. Particular butt sliders, maybe some leg sliders, and maybe some arm sliders. The butt sliders here are causing weird indentations on this cloak. Remember though, it's worth going through every slider and seeing what is affecting negatively. I will go through a few sliders here and clear the slider data so that the cloak isn't affected.
Part 7, Ending Remarks. As we have seen, the process of slider editing follows this basic workflow. Number 1. Make sure the outfit has been converted to your body and at the very least has a unit reference applied. 2. Check every object of every outfit part and see if any distortions occur with any slider. 3. Identify the object that's being distorted. If the entire object needs fixing, then no masking is needed. If a part of the object needs fixing, remember to mask and invert that specific part only. 4. Enter slider edit mode and use all the tools at your disposal to manually edit the slider. This will include clearing slider data, using the manipulation tool, and even inflating deflating at times. 5. Test each slider after every edit. 6. Don't forget to save your work after every edit if you're satisfied. 7. The ultimate final test that I didn't show in this video is loading a preset in Outfit Studio, just to see if the edits look good overall. Some fine tuning may be required. Anyway, this concludes the tutorial on manual slider editing. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.